So we can look at loci in this video. Now loci is basically pathways that obey rules and the GCSE level is four that you've got to be familiar with. The first one is being a fixed distance from a point. Now if you're a fixed distance from a point, let's say you are two centimetres away from a point, then the pathway you'll take will be circular. So the definition of a circle is uh, that you're always fixed distance away from the centre. Now I've just drawn it freehand for now. I'll be showing you later um, how to do it with a pair of compasses. So that's your first rule, fixed distance from a point. The second rule is fixed distance um, from a line. I guess a fixed distance from a line. So if I have a line like that, I want to say one centimetre away from that line, then along the straight path, I will draw a parallel line at uh, one side and a parallel line at the other. So every point is exactly the shortest distance is one centimetre away. Now as I move around the corner, I'm moving now around a point. And so it brings in um, the previous rule. So as I go around the corner, I must be at one centimetre away from my line. So I curve around the corner as I'm going around a point. But along the line itself, you have two parallel lines. And the third thing is being equidistant, equidistant or equidistant, from two points. So, for example, I have point, point A here and point B there. And the line that is equidistant from the point, or the pathway, shall I say, okay, um, is in fact a perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular bisector. And I'll be showing you how to construct that shortly. And then finally, um, what I might just say there is that any point is exactly the same distance from A as it is from B. It's a bit of Pythagoras rule there that actually proved that, but for now we'll just leave it at that. If you draw a perpendicular bisector between A and B, then any point on the line is the same distance as from A as it is from B. And finally, we need to be equidistant from two lines that join. And this is all that's tested really at GCSE. So you're looking for the angle bisector here. So I'll just quickly show you what that's all about. So I've got two lines that meet at point A, let's say AB, AB, and AC, and there'll be a line that cuts them exactly so that these two angles are the same. Now I'll show you how to construct this in a moment, but just to give you the overview and the big picture guide. Like, these are the four things that we need to learn to be able to do low quiet questions. GCSE. And just to make the point further here, this point here, if I take the shortest distance to this line, and the shortest distance to that line, then they will be the same. So when you construct the angle bisector, then you will have found the line, okay, the dotted line, so that each point on that line is the same distance from line AB as it is from line AC when you take the shortest distance.